Hey everyone, happy postdoc appreciation week. My name is Vanessa. I'm with the Wrigley Institute communications team. I'm here with my friend Aitor, who is a postdoc scholar. Well, I'm Aitor. I'm a postdoctoral scholar. I work on environmental decision making at Joe Arby's lab. And mainly what I do is I try out different choice architectures, which are like frames or incentives to try to influence uh, the factors that affect pro environmental choice and also acceptance of climate solutions. Okay, so tell me one myth about your research that you'd like to debunk. It's very frustrating to, to see companies using the term sustainable consumption when what they really mean is green consumerism. The thing is that green consumerism encourages people to keep the consumption levels or even increasing them without even questioning the overall amount that we are consuming. So an example of that would be buying a fuel-efficient car, but you end up driving twice as much as you would have. Even though each unit is more eco-friendly, in total we are consuming more, so the environmental damage fits larger. If you're on social media right now, under consumption core is trending. What are your thoughts about it? Yeah, it is trending and I like it, you know? What they do is they romanticize uh, a simpler life, where you just buy and use what, what you need. It's a necessary countercultural force against aggressive advertising. 